Hey everyone, happy to have you here with me once again. Welcome back. And I know it has been way too long since the last time that I have sit here and film. And to be honest, I don't know what I want to do moving forward, but I knew that I needed to change something. And I feel like what I've been doing lately has really helped me with my relationship with makeup and consumerism. Uh, but yeah, as you can see in the title, today I'm going to be sharing with you a video that I felt like I didn't want to skip because I, it's kind of a big deal for me. And as you can see in the title, today we're going to be doing a declutter, a huge declutter. I have this basket over here completely full with makeup that I want to give away. It was a hard process for me to accept that I wanted to do this but I feel like in the end it's for the better. And let me give you a little bit of like a backstory in case you're only interested in seeing the clutter, that is completely okay. And I'll leave uh, the timestamp over here of when the clutter starts. Uh, but yeah, I think it has been over a month since the last time that I have filmed and uploaded a video. And I was feeling kind of overwhelmed with my YouTube channel. Uh, this YouTube channel is really small, but I have I have had so many joys with this channel, with all of you, uh, reading your comments and everything, feeling your support. But also it has been kind of frustrating when I wasn't having the progress that I wanted, not only like in the growth of the channel with the followers and that kind of stuff but also the progress in the for example project pants and that kind of stuff i don't know i wasn't feeling accomplished uh, regarding to this channel so i decided to give myself a break try to think what i wanted to do if i want to move forward with this channel or not and I still don't know what I want to do, but I feel like something that have really helped me is stop doing project pants. I've been doing different kinds of projects since 2020, I think. So it has been two years for me that I have always been working in something. And I was feeling that I wasn't able to get the use and and give the love to my makeup collection that it deserves because I was only focusing in products, in projects. So every time that I was going to do my makeup and I didn't want to use something in a project, I felt guilty. So yeah, I ended up rejecting the products that were not in a project and only focusing in things that were in projects. I don't know how many times I have said projects so far. But yeah, I wasn't feeling great, to be honest, so I decided to stop and I feel like since then uh, I've been having a change in my mindset, to say it in a way, because now I feel like I can really get the use that I want out of my collection. I can play around, I can have fun, I can wake up every morning and ask myself, what do I want to wear today? You know what? do I have to wear? It may be as ridiculous, I hope if you're doing projects this doesn't happen to you but it started happening to me so I decided to stop and since then I've been feeling way better for the same reason since this channel is like 90% project pants, I don't know what I want to do with it but the thing that started happening to me is that when I start using my makeup collection as I wish, like reaching for every product that I was feeling inspired to use, I realized that I have a lot in my collection that I just know that if I have the chance, I'm not going to reach for it because I don't feel inspired with that product, I don't like the formula, the colors, or something on it, and I just knew that if it was my choice, my like my free choice, it was something that I wasn't going to reach for. So I decided to look through my whole collection and start thinking about it uh, like really deeply, like not like giving a lot of time and effort to look through my collection and being realistic in what I wanted out of my collection. Um, so yeah, with that 
here I have a full basket of products that I just realized that I don't want to have in my collection anymore. Some of them it's because, like I said, I used to like something about it, but some others are just because I know that I have other things that I prefer to reach for. Uh, so if I'm not going to use it, it's going to get bad in my drawers and I prefer to give it away and tomorrow my high school friends are coming to my apartment so I thought it was going to be the perfect choice because last time that I made a declutter I gave a lot of the products uh, to them and they really enjoy it so I thought that this is a good timing and I can do the same tomorrow and maybe these products will find a new home uh, that will that and they will get more love with them than with me. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to make this introduction any longer because it's long enough, but I felt like I needed to give you an explanation of why uh, this is happening and why I haven't been around here. Uh, but yeah, let's start talking about the products. I have over here like 10 palettes, I think, 10 eyeshadow palettes, like over 10 super tuctalos, a couple of face products, lip products, eyeliners, a little bit of everything. So I'm not going to go in any particular order and I'm going to start with what I have here in the top. So let's start with this one over here. This is my CD of Neo Lights palette from Wood Cosmetics and this is an amazing colorful rainbow palette. Uh, as the name suggests, it's a neon palette and I had this, I think, in my whole collection project pan and I was trying to reach for it. But to be honest, I don't feel like reaching for colorful eyeshadows anymore. Uh, when I start playing with makeup, I really enjoy doing super colorful and crazy stuff in my eyes, but I don't like that anymore and I prefer something that is a little bit more neutral. And when I want to play with color, this is not the palette I reach for. I have a friend on mine that I think it's going to love this palette because she's really into colorful eye looks and I don't think she has this palette. So yeah, this is going to a new home. This palette over here is my Hip Dot Scion palette and this one, it was kind of hard for me to admit that I don't want it anymore in my collection. It's a beautiful palette, it has beautiful colors and this kind of color story <laughs> are really my cup of tea. Not a perfect cup of tea to say it in a way, but it was a really nice palette because I love pinks and purples and this palette has a lot of that. Um, but again, I have other purple palettes in my collection that I prefer before this one. And also this palette leans very, very, like it has a very, like very tone color story. And those colors are a little bit too red tone, like warm tone of a uh, purple. And it's not really what I prefer. So I have had this palette since the beginning of 2020, I think. Or 2021 I think it was the beginning of 2021 and I think I have only used it a couple of times my favorite shade in this palette is this like champagne color over here but I don't reach for it so it's going to a new home this is a palette that I have already decluttered in my collection like six months ago or even last year maybe but I haven't been able to find a new home with it for it so it's in this basket too and uh, next we have another palette that it wasn't a good idea for me to purchase it in the first place because i purchased this palette because i was already purchasing the original zodiac palette from bh cosmetics and i needed to pay shipping to my country and that was pretty expensive so i decided not to pay the shipping only for one product and i decided to get the sister palette from the original zodiac and i bought the love sign zodiac it's a really pretty palette. It has some really nice shades. I remember that when I purchased it, I really wanted this shade in my collection, but I don't reach for it. So it makes no sense for it to stay in my collection. You're not going to believe me, but I locked myself out of my apartment. I needed to go to pick up something uh, down, like in the lobby of my apartment. 
and even if I got the key with me uh, another like a copy of the key it was in the lock inside so I wasn't able to open from the outside and it took me over half an hour to be able to get back in <sighs> so yeah Okay, before moving on with more eyeshadow palettes, I want to talk about the super chalk shadows that I decided to declutter. I'm not going to go too much into depth about why I'm decluttering this because I feel like most of them are kind of the same reason. And like the main reason uh, for all of them, it's because super chalk shadows get bright. Uh, like super quickly they don't last too long in your collection so if I noticed that I wasn't using a super chalk towels in my collection I decided to give them away to hopefully find someone that will get more use out of them uh, so yeah over here I have my Jade Bay uh, this was in my Pando Sai shadows uh, a couple months ago I have these two over here, the Jade Ronjon and Mountain Lion, this is one of my newer Super Chuck Chalos. Uh, but with both of these, I have similar shades in my collection and these ones are starting to get dry, even if they, they have less than a year. But since the formula is already a little bit drier and I know that I'm not going to use them a lot because I have similar things, I decided to um, give them away. Next we have these ones over here. This is pressed juice. It was in my Pandal Size Shadows the last time. Bubble Bee and Tankini. Well, and also over here we have, uh, no, not this one. Is this one over here on set and another one that is a reddish one. This one over here, Hot Tully. All of these shades are not really shades that I like to use and since this formula again uh, it's going to get up sooner than like a normal shade in my collection I'm going to give them away and the last ones that I need to share with you were a little bit more difficult for me to give away first over here I have the shade for real it's a really nice like orangey with a pink shift shade but again it's not something that I use and I feel like I have things that are similar or even better in my collection over here I have one that I didn't thought I was going to give away but again I have similar things in my collection in a form that is not a super chuck tallow so it's going to last longer this is Katy Tooth and finally we have these two over here this is Slave uh, to pink this is a shade that I got broken like when I received it it was broken and I decided to keep it because it was a nice color but I never used it because it was broken and finally over here I have like the surprise one because this one I really like this is the shade Pug Life and the time that I have used it is a really beautiful shade and it's a purple and as I have said before I love purples uh, but again it's not something unique enough to keep in my collection considering the kind of formula that it is. Um, let's start talking about a couple of lip products and I'm going to be decluttering between uh, four liquid lipstick and one bullet lipstick. This one over here is from Catrice in the Full of Braveness shade and this is basically a concealer color on me. It's way too light. I don't like it. It's a really nice formula, but the color is not for me. And the liquid lipsticks over here, I have Exotic, a shade that I bought when I was in Greece because I heard, I read somewhere that it was supposed to be similar to a super popular shade from the Kylie Cosmetics lipstick. So I purchased it, but I never used it. This one kind of hurts me because I'm pretty sure this is my most expensive lip. Uh, like liquid lipstick in my collection but this formula doesn't really work for me maybe a friend of mine will want it and try it out but for me it was a fail over here I have this really nice color this is very recognized from wet and wild but I have a bullet lipstick that I prefer over this one because it's more pigmented and also smoother on my lips so I prefer that over this one and finally another lip product is this one over here this is from 
the healthy leaf from physicians formula in the shade all natural nude this one is brand new in my collection i purchased it like a year ago because it was on sale because they were discontinuing this product but it smells like paint so i'm going to throw it away because i'm pretty sure it's bad um let's move on with some more palettes and let's go first with this one over here this is my this is my so very lovely palette this is really pretty but i don't use it it's completely brand new it was a mistake for me to purchase it this one kind of hurt me because i really love this palette this is my the warrior palette from juvia's place and it's really really pretty and but i have a friend in mind that i think will we'll love this palette and i have the naked honey palette and i have pretty much the same shades in that palette and i prefer to keep that one over this one especially considering that this one it has been in my collection for over a year now and i haven't used it almost at all and the other one i do use it kind of the same with smittens in switzerland another palette that i think i have used three times since i got it and it's a nice palette but i just don't feel inspired to wait for it uh, so i prefer to give it uh, give it to someone else and this one over here i have to say uh, it was the shade that hurt me the most to give away because i didn't thought that i was going to declutter this palette over here but again, every time that I look at this palette, I don't feel... Every time that I look at this palette, I don't feel inspired by it. It has some really nice colors, I have to say. I'm, I'm really going to miss this shade over here, the shade Yara. But I don't know. I just don't want to reach for it. And I know that if I haven't reached for it in over a year unless i'm forcing myself to do so it means that it, do it doesn't belong in my collection finally i have two more palettes to talk about this one over here you have already seen it because again it's a palette that i declutter i think at the beginning of the year but i haven't been able to find a new home for it and this one over here a natasha dinona palette i know i'm going to declutter a natasha dinona palette but this color story is not for me. It's way too dark. And I don't know. I have other cool tone palettes in my collection that I prefer over this one. And again, I have a friend in mind that I think she has a darker skin tone that I have. So I think these colors might work better on her than on me. So yeah, finally, we have some random pugs over here. So let's discuss those. I have a super chalk cheek over here in the shade Sound Scrape, and I was super excited about having this one, but the other day I used it for the first time, and it's way too dark for me. It was super hard for me to blend it, so it doesn't make sense for me to keep it. Also, I have a bronzer from Patricio, a Chilean brand. And again, there is nothing bad with this product. It's a little bit orangey, uh, but that doesn't really bother me. The thing is that I know that with all the bronzers that I have in my collection, I'm never gonna want to reach for this one over the others that I already have. I have a couple of highlighters like Prismatics uh, highlighters from e.l.f that again the same friend that i'm thinking to give the neon palette to i think she's going to really enjoy these ones i have a couple of more lip products i have this one over here from elf this one that was a tester from essence a couple of lip glosses and finally this uh lipstick over here that has a really nice shade but i just don't want to use it um i have some brushes over here and to finish i have two more lip liners oh no i have lip liners and two eyeliners and this one over here this is a glitter glue that i'm going to give to my sister because i don't use it and i think she's going to get good use out of it i have these two eyeliners from essence i really like this one over here because it it's a nice dark green but it has shimmer on it and i want a dark matte green 
and this one doesn't give me that basically and i have a lot of lip liners that i'm going to give away i'm going to go quickly through this but i have seven uh, lip liners that i'm going to be giving away first these two are from essence in the Tate spheres and legendary <sighs> I just don't like this formula it's too dry so i'm going to give it away next we have these two from wet and wild in the shade never petal down and bear to comment and again i don't like this formula because it's too creamy for a lip liner for me and finally we have these three um uh, lip liners lippy pencils from ColourPop in the shade vff3 control and brink and I have no issues with this formula, uh, but they are really similar to other things that I already have. So yeah, that is everything that I'm going to be giving away. <sighs> it's a lot, but I feel so good about it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if any of the issues that I comment in the introduction, if any of them have ever happened to you. If you have any suggestions, any... I don't know any words uh, like kind words that you can give me i would really appreciate it it's great to be back i don't know when my next video is going to be up after this one but yeah it's really nice to be here again and i cannot wait uh, to hear your comments again but yeah that's everything for today i hope you enjoy this video that you enjoy your day and hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye guys